32-year-old Rebecca Zahau's sudden death is still a mystery to many. Soon after, the law enforcement ruled this to be a suicide. And ever since then, people have had questions about, was this really a suicide or was it something else? Zahau's case is being revisited in a series on the Oxygen Network called Death at the Mansion, Rebecca Zahau. I personally have been agonizing over this case ever since I heard about it, ever since I heard that they declared it a suicide. I wanted to know what's really going on here. Former prosecutor Lonnie Coombs and retired cold case investigator Paul Holes give the audience a closer look at this case. We were fortunate to have unprecedented access to the actual source material from the official authorities that had done the investigation. So we were able to get the crime scene photos, the autopsy results, the investigative supplements. At the time of her death, Zahau was dating Jonah Shacknai, a wealthy businessman. By all accounts, they were living happily in a beachfront mansion in Southern California until tragedy struck. In July 2011, Zahau was at home with Shaq Nye's son, six-year-old Max. Police say the boy fell over a banister. Two days after the accident, police were called to the house once again. Can I an emergency? What are you reporting? I, I got a girl hung herself. Okay, yeah. is she still alive? I don't think so. Cops say Rebecca Zahau was found hanging from a balcony naked. Her hands were bound behind her back and her feet were tied as well. She also had a t-shirt stuffed in her mouth. When the sheriff's office in San Diego announced the cause of death, many were surprised. Was Rebecca's death a homicide? Again, the answer is no. Investigators say it was a suicide, motivated by her guilt over what happened to Max, who died of his injuries five days after his fall. They even created a video showing how Zahau could have bound her own hands and feet before throwing herself off the balcony. For many, the results were hard to believe. As a woman, I just had this strong reaction that there's no way a woman would choose to end her life this way. My sister was murdered. It is pretty obvious she was murdered. Zahau's family also refused to believe the police findings. Her mother testified as much. Did you ever think that Rebecca would kill herself? No, 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 no. She's not thinking that. She means this man, Adam Shacknai, Jonah's brother. Adam was at the mansion when she died. He made the 911 call after claiming to have found Zahau hanging from the balcony. Her family filed a civil lawsuit against him for wrongful death. A civil lawsuit has a lower standard of proof. Um, which is a preponderance of the evidence. And we were looking at this um, from a criminal point of view, if there could be criminal charges, which is a reasonable doubt standard, it's much higher. In 2018, a civil jury agreed with Zahau's family. Did Adam Shacknai cause the death of Rebecca Zahau? The answer is yes. And I'm gonna tell him that I forgive him because my sister would have. The family was awarded $5 million, but later settled for 600,000. Now the family wants the criminal case into her death reopened. Adam Shacknai maintains his innocence. The people I come in contact with, be it uh, friends, coworkers, acquaintances, strangers, uh, uh, it's very gratifying to know that I've never come across one who thought for a second that I had anything to do with it. The San Diego Sheriff's Department reportedly says it will not be charging anyone with Zahau's death after re-examining the evidence following the civil suit. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.